Hi, I'm Simon, co-founder of NoLogo. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed iframes in your NoLogo app and teach you how you can configure both static iframes that show the same content to each user and dynamic iframes to show different content to different users. Let's imagine that I want to embed the same page for all users in my NoLogo app. And in particular, I want to embed our NoLogo support guides at guides.noloco.io. So what I'm going to do is toggle on edit mode using my keyboard shortcut command E, and then click to add an iframe embed. Once this page is added, I'm going to firstly rename the page. So I'm going to call it support. I'm going to change the URL path, and then I'm going to choose a more appropriate icon, like a question mark. Perfect. Now I'm going to configure the iframe. So what I'm going to do is choose a type, and this should be a URL because I want it to be the same URL for everyone who visits this page. So if I toggle off edit mode now, I can see that when our users navigate to this page, they'll all see the no logo support guides. Great. Let's say now that I want to also add another embed, but this time I want the content to be different for different users. So one use case I might have for this would be to add a Calendly embed, but I want to show different users different Calendly links. So again, I'm going to toggle on edit mode and go to add an iframe embed. Firstly, I'm going to rename the page again. So I'm going to call this one book uh, meeting, and I'm going to call this URL path book meeting, and choose a more appropriate icon here, like a calendar. Great. This time when configuring the URL path, instead of choosing a URL, I'm gonna choose a data field. Now previously on the user collection in Noloco, I added a Calendly link. And this time, when I go to the book a meeting page, I see the embed associated with this particular user. So if I go to the users table in our data tab, just to show you here, I see that I've inputted a specific calendar link for the user. And I'm logged in as this user right here, so when I go to this page, I see a dynamic embed that aligns with the URL in that field in the users table. And you can pull in these dynamic links based off any collection associated with the user as long as there is a direct relationship there. So that is how you can use iframe embeds in a logo and show both static embeds that show the same content to all users and dynamic embeds to show different content based on data in the collections in the logo.